you've probably heard that the blue light from your phone, your TV screen, your computer is bad for your sleep. My In this video, I'm going to explain why it absolutely destroys your sleep quality. Keep watching. Sleepguards.com I'm Brandon, and if you're new here and interested in getting a higher quality sleep, then head to sleepguards.com slash video to get my free video on 21 sleeping tips. Light is an electromagnetic wave, and blue light is the portion of visible light on the electromagnetic spectrum that has a wavelength of between 380 and 500 nanometers. You may have noticed that the sky is orange during sunrise and sunset. It's at these times of the day when blue light is scattered most by the atmosphere, allowing the reds and yellows to reach your eyes. Light with shorter wavelengths, like blue light, emits more energy, which is why you may have heard that blue light from your electronic devices is stimulating. Stimulation is not what you want when you're trying to sleep. Well, I guess that depends on what kind of stimulation we're talking here and whether we actually want to go to sleep at all. <coughs> blue light isn't all that bad. It has been shown to increase alertness, elevate mood, boost cognitive performance, and improve memory. Blue light during the day also helps regulate your circadian rhythm. The evolutionary angle on blue light is that our ancestors didn't have access to blue light frequencies during the night. They did not have or use electronic devices that emit vast amounts of blue light, nor did they have artificial street lighting. So when no blue light was present from the sun, perhaps the body evolved a mechanism to signal to the body that it's time to sleep. Fire was the default evening light source which comes in red frequencies, so we may have evolved to tolerate it during the night, but not blue light. The light bulb and computer screens introduced blue light into our evenings for the first time in human history. The scientific angle on blue light is when it penetrates our retinas after the sun has gone down. It disrupts our circadian rhythm, which regulates important sleep-related hormones like cortisol and melatonin. The light gets sent down the optic nerve to the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is part of the hypothalamus, the master of our circadian rhythm. Chronobiologer researcher Claude Gronifer of the French Institute of Health and Medical Research explains, light acts on the retina through the action of specific cells, melanopsin containing ganglion cells, which are different from the cones and rods that are the photoreceptors used in vision. When these ganglion cells are activated by blue light, they transmit a nerve signal that runs along the optic nerve, and rather than activating the visual structures in the brain, activates the non-visual structures such as our internal circadian clock. So it's exposure to light that resets the time on the biological clock. A 2010 study showed that exposure to room light before bedtime suppressed melatonin, resulting in a later melatonin offset in 99% of individuals, and shortening melatonin duration by about 90 minutes. And exposure to room light during usual hours of sleep suppressed melatonin by greater than 50% in most trials. I've included more studies in the description below. Blue light is also absorbed by your skin via light-sensitive receptors called neuropsin and melanopsin. That's why sleeping in a completely blacked out room is very important because even if you're wearing a sleep mask to avoid light coming into your eyes, let's say from the artificial street lighting outside your window, well, your skin's going to absorb that light, whether it comes into your eyes or not. It's going to be absorbed into your skin and it's going to tell the body that you should be awake when you're trying to go to sleep. Biohacker Dave Asprey explains, We did not evolve to absorb this type of junk light. In fact, we couldn't even see blue until a few hundred years ago. Nine ancient civilizations had no word for blue. In the Odyssey, Homer describes the sea as wine dark. The color blue was the last to appear in most languages, including Greek, Chinese, Japanese, and Hebrew. The evidence suggests that since they had no name for it, these people did not perceive the color blue as we know it today. Blue is a modern invention, and it is the hardest color for your brain to interpret. Ultimately, the disruption of your circadian rhythm caused by evening blue light exposure can increase the time it takes for you to fall asleep, cause you to fall asleep later, and misalign optimal hormone secretion time for regenerating your body before, during, and after sleep. So you're probably wondering, what can I do to stop blue light from ruining my sleep? I've got you covered. Watch my video on six ways to prevent blue light from destroying your sleep quality. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and watch the next video.